Up next is Patrick McCleary as promised, also known as the Pagan Dad. He's going to tell us about this month's full moon. Let's see what he has to say. Merry meet. My name is Patrick, although many of you will know me as Pagan Dad. It's because I run the blog, Pagan Dad, which is all about raising a pagan child just like you. And I'm here today because, because I'm a friend of Rupert. And because I wanted to talk about the full moon this month, or as we say in our household, the family moon. And we call it that because it's a time for the family, including the kids, to kind of get together, join together, and to honor the goddess and god. Uh, now, long ago, people had names of the different full moons that they saw throughout the year. And it's understandable, since for many, you know, the moon above and the fire were the only lights at night. Now, these are days long before technology and electricity flip a switch, you know. And so with February coming up, I wanted to share with you the name of the full moon for this month. Um, now, long ago, you know, those days before electricity and grocery stores and snowplows, for some of you guys, um, this was called the snow moon because it was the time of the deepest snow. The wolves of last month are, you know, they know better. It's cold outside. A lot of snow. They go home. They rest this month a little. And it was a time, it was a month that seemed to go on forever because everybody was wrapped up in snow. There wasn't much food left. And so they spent time with family. You know, um, they feasted here at Imbolc. And they would have sung you know, the family's favorite songs, and they want to begin planning for the spring planting as well. You know, they, they were looking ahead, and they were hoping that by doing this, that spring would come a little bit faster. So, like our ancestors this month, be sure to bring your family close. Maybe even start some seeds for the coming spring, if you garden. Uh, and you can do it in your own life. You know, talk about a goal that you want to set. Uh, you know... Maybe you want to set aside your allowance to buy something new. Or maybe you want to be the best on that new instrument that you got for Christmas or for Yule. Uh, or just an instrument that you want to play. So spend the next month planning that for the coming year. Plan your own garden. And until next time, blessed be. Thank you, Pagan Dad for teaching us about this month's full moon. We look forward to you teaching us about next month's full moon as well. Next, we're going to talk a little bit about magic. Stay tuned.